friends and family, we have been invited here today to share with Brian and Janelle an important moment in their lives. We came together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. This marriage is one expression of many varieties of love. Love is one, though its expressions are infinite. It is fitting to speak briefly about love. We live in a world of joy and fear and search for meaning and strength in the seeming disorder. We discover the truest guideline to our quest when we realize love in all its magnitudes. <clears throat> love is the internal force of life. Love is a force that allows us to face fear and uncertainty with courage. For the giving of ourself in love is difficult, for you must learn to give of your love without total submission of yourself. Therefore, in your giving, give your joy, your sadness, your interest, your understanding, your knowledge, all expressions that make up life. But in this giving, remember to preserve yourself, your integrity, your individuality. This is the challenge of love within marriage. Although you'll be sharing one life, never forget you are two separate people. <clears throat> Cherish and affirm your differences. Love each other. Keep your commitment primary. Together you will laugh and cry, be sick and well, be happy and angry, share and grow. Grow sometimes together, sometimes separately, but never remain stagnant. Love and life are always changing, always new. If you will ensure a healthy, lasting marriage, always, always value each other. Although you will disagree, remember to respect each other's feelings, needs, and wants. So it is our hope for you both that in all areas of your life together, you will weave a durable fabric of mutual support and help in time of trouble. May each of you achieve the ability to give yourselves freely so that you will each live a better life and become greater people. <clears throat> Nine years ago, we were celebrating Chase Hamill's birthday party at my dad's cabin. And Amy told me that Brian would be bringing down his new girlfriend, and I was not to say anything embarrassing. <laughs> so Chad Hamill and I were having a drink on the dock when Brian and Janelle walked down the steps. And after introductions were made, <laughs> I asked Brian, so when's the wedding? <clears throat> and that brings them here. A time to pause, look back, and smile and all the, at all the moments that brought them here. A time to look ahead at all the moments that are still to come. I'm here. We're all here because we want those moments for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not this moment. It's every moment. Big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little ones that come in between the big moments. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described, but trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the words we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And though we describe love in different ways, and even though Love can look different from one person to the next. We all know it when we see it, and we see it here today. <clears throat> Before each of you, you know. Before each of you is a container of glass crystals. Each represents your separate lives, your friends, your families. I will ask that you each pour the contents from your own vase into the middle vase together. As the glass from each individual vase is blended together, it symbolizes the journey of joining your separate lives into one union and beginning your journey as husband and wife. The combined glass will be taken by an artist and blown into a beautiful vase, never to be separated again. May your marriage be. Please be seated. <laughs> my bad. You'll have to bear with me. It's my first time here. How come no one told me that? <laughs> I was looking at you guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's move on. <sighs> Marriage and this beautiful vase are alike. 
Both are examples of what can happen when raw, unfinished elements come together. They can be two separate entities, fluid and independent of each other, and can have an exquisiteness of their own, but join them together, and the result can be stunning in its beauty, inspiring in its strength, humbling in its function, continual flow, no beginning and no end. As with your marriage, this vase requires great care. Cherish it, polish it, protect it from any harm. Keep from it that which can break it or chip away at it, and it will remain a thing of beauty. <clears throat> there you go. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you have learned much from one another in these last few years. You have learned that good company and friendship count for more than wealth, good looks, or position. And you've learned that marriage is a maze into which we wander, a maze that is best got through with a great companion. Today your wedding day is one brief day in time, and all your vows are spoken in a matter of minutes. They are promises that will last a lifetime. For after these vows you shall be to the world, groom is my husband, bride is my wife. Brian and Janelle have written their own vows and would like to share them with one another. Brian, I love you. I promise to accept you the way you are. I fell in love with your qualities, your quirks, and your outlook on life. I promise to respect you as a person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are sometimes different, but no less important than my own. I promise to join with you and to share all that is to come, to give and to receive, to speak and to listen. With kindness, honesty, and trust, I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. Janelle. I love you. You are my best friend. You are my reason back then, my reason now, my reason every day. You make me feel happier than I could ever imagine and more love than I could ever th thought possible. I pledge my life to yours to share both good times and bad times side by side. No matter where life leads me, I know that as long as you are there, it is where I'm meant to be. Jay. <clears throat> interesting. <laughs> These rings represent vows and promises you have willingly exchanged. They reflect the commitment those words inspire and your hopes for the future. Brian, as you place this ring on Janelle's finger, please repeat after me. Janelle, I give you this ring as a reminder. Janelle, I give you this ring as a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I love, honor and cherish you in all times and all places and in all ways forever in all times and all places forever Janelle as you place this ring on Brian's finger please repeat after me Brian I give you this ring as a reminder Brian I give you this ring as a reminder that I will love honor and cherish you that I will love honor and cherish you in all times and all places and in all ways forever. In all times and in all places and in all ways forever. And now Brian and Janelle would like to invite Nikki Hartz to recite a reading. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another, and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, 
often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it in making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it loving one another. Thank you. <clears throat> Brian, do you take Janelle to be your wife to share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments? Do you promise to love and encourage her, to comfort her, honor, respect, and care for her for the rest of your life? I do. Janelle, do you take Brian to be your husband, to share the good times and achievements, as well as the hard times and disappointments? Do you promise to love and encourage him to comfort, honor, and respect, and care for him for the rest of your life? I do. By the power vested in me by the American Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woo. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Janelle Lang. <clears throat> Brian and Janelle would like to invite everyone to a cocktail hour in the event center. Please enter through the main doors and proceed to the Combine Restaurant for drinks and appetizers. Thank you.